We want to solve PBX squared minus 4x minus 15 equals to 0 using the quadratic formula. In our last math tutorial, we had shown how to derive the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, where a, b, and c are constant, obtained from the general form of the quadratic equation. The general form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Comparing this with the above equation, we have a to the three, the coefficient of x squared, b is negative four, the coefficient of x, and c is negative 15, the constant term. Now, let us put this in the quadratic formula to solve the equation. We then have that x equals to minus negative 4, that's minus b, plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is negative 15, over 2a, which is 2 times 3. x will be 4, which is the result of negative 4 times negative 4, plus or minus the square root of 16 as the square of negative 4, then negative 4 times 30 times negative 15 will give positive 180 over 2 times 3, which is 6. x is 4 plus or minus the square root of 196 over 6. x is 4 plus or minus 14, which is the square root of 196 over 6. At this point, we can separate the plus or minus so that x will be 4 minus 14 over 6 or x will be 4 plus 14 over 6. x will be either negative 10 over 6 or x is 18, which is 4 plus 14 over 6. So finally, the solution to the quadratic equation is x equals to negative 5 over 3 when we reduce to the lowest term or x equals to 3. Here is another one. When we compare with ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, the general form of a quadratic equation, it is found out that a is 1, the coefficient of x squared, b is 12, the coefficient of x and c is 9, the constant term. Then using x equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, the quadratic formula. x will be minus 12 plus or minus the square root of 12 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9 over 2 times 1, the value of a. x then gives minus 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 for 12 squared minus 36, that is 4 times 1 times 9. The denominator is 2. x then becomes minus 12 plus or minus square root of 108, which is 144 minus 36 over 2. Now, 108 is not a perfect square, so we can express it in radical form. x will then be minus 12 plus or minus 108 is 36 times 3, and the square root of 36 is 6, so we can write that as 6 root 3 over 2. Then from the numerator, we can factor 6. x will be 6 into bracket minus 2, having factor 6, plus or minus root 3 over 2. Then 2 goes in 6 3 times, so that we have x equals to 3 into bracket negative 2 plus or minus root 3. Then opening the brackets up again, we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus 3 root 3. Separating this result into the two roots, x minus 6 minus 3 root 3, or x equals to minus 6 plus 3 root 3. These are the roots or the solutions to the quadratic equation. We have got another one here, 5x squared minus 2x equals to 8. First, we write it in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. And that is 
5x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals to 0 when we subtract 8 from both sides. Then comparing with the general form written above, a is 5, b is negative 2, and c is negative a. And using the quadratic formula, x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. We have that x equals to minus negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 5 times c which is negative 8 all divided by 2 times 5 x does becomes 2 that's minus times minus 2 plus or minus square root of the square of negative 2 is 4 and the product of negative 4 5 and negative 8 is positive 160 over 2 times 5 which is 10 x therefore becomes 2 2 plus or minus square root of 164 over 10. This time around, we want to give the root to three significant figures. So we will be finding the actual square root of 164. Thus, x equals to 2 plus or minus the square root of 64 to three decimal places is 12.806 over 10. And this can be written as x equals to 2 minus 12.806 over 10 for the first root or x equals to 2 plus 12.806 over 10. Now x can either be minus 10.806 over 10, that's 2 minus 12.806, or x could be 14 when we add 2 to 12.806, 14.806 over 10. Dividing this by 10, x is therefore minus 1.0806 or x is 1.4806 and to three significant figures x is minus 1.08 or x is 1.48 we believe you are seen how to solve quadratic equation by the use of the quadratic formula if you enjoy our tutorial please share with your contacts and make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get timely updates when our tutorials are released. You can also leave your comments in the comment section. We will respond to them. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.